Yes, Time. it is. Got it. And by the way, the United Nations General Assembly has begun. It's in New York. It begun today. James Carafano is with us. He focuses on foreign policy at the Heritage Foundation. James, there's going to be all kinds of meetings with all these diplomats and world leaders there. Do you think there might be something positive that comes out of it? Anything at all? Uh, uh, in the bilats, yes. I mean, the President of the United States, for example, is going to have several bilateral meetings. And there's a big difference between Trump at the UN today and Trump at the UN a year ago, because now America's got a, a pretty heavy foreign policy on the agenda, and it's very clear where we're going and what we've achieved. So there actually are quite a few things for President Trump to talk about with other leaders. Yeah. What, what are the pluses for our foreign policy? What have we achieved in the last year for our foreign policy? Um, so you start in the Middle East. Um, you can say what you want about Syria, but Syria is not spinning out of control and creating a large-scale regional war. Um, you can say what you want about Iraq, but Iraq, at least, is not spinning out of control and falling apart. Um, you can say what you want about Iran, but Iran's been put on notice and is really feeling the pressure, and that's really straining its capability to be a destabilizing force in the Middle East. So it's, it's hard not to argue that America's not back in the Middle East and people aren't feeling our presence. Uh, you can say the same thing in Asia. If you look, for example, at the, the scope of the engagement with North Korea, as opposed to where we were a year ago when people thought we were on the verge of war, look at the the pushback on China that they haven't had in a decade. And you look in Western Europe, and for all the, the mm. blathering about, oh, my God, you know, Trump and the Russians, the Russians feel under more pressure today than they've ever felt. So it, it's really hard not to make the case that the U.S. presence isn't being felt in the world. When the president speaks tomorrow, I believe it's 10 o'clock Eastern time, he begins his big speech at the U.N., um, is it going to be a return to America first? Here's what we are, here's what we're doing. Well, I do think it'll be about what we are doing in the world, and I, I do think people will pay uh, a, a lot more attention. Not that they didn't pay attention when it last year, but now they have context. I mean, a, a year ago, there still wasn't a lot of context about what is the United States actually going to do. You can love Trump, you can hate Trump, you can cherry pick the quotes and the tweets all you want, but at the end of the day, what America is doing on the ground is undeniable, and we see that. And the president kind of putting a context for that, unfiltered by the media and everything else, I think people will pay attention. Yeah, you've just got to have it unfiltered by the media, and that's a fact. James, thanks for joining us, so we do appreciate it. And by the way, everyone, <laughs> President Trump makes the big speech tomorrow. The UN General Assembly is tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock Eastern. You will be able to see.